comes. Salam gala futi kusisi kwa pinesa na kuli TOMZ Roger on SABC 1 mzanti for sure Ika mega usia alona ubongi Hai chaloka ibeza na chike sisa mkelele galo Kaya si doni, I'm trying to see I'm not forget the thing I'm not I'm so blessed and highly favored Okay, go go back Go back Kale chope ekim na, it's a city, everything is close by And everything is just vibrant man, I love my city Mmm, amanyi ma poto le city le na ubongi aren't so great Because the crime rate alana mzanti is actually growing drastically And amanyi ma poto me believe they're actually falling apart On the kone kone bula bantu are working together to actually Rebuild Lama Structures Lama to something amazing. Inshallah, guys, you now get a process in that city. Plus, it means that he urban renewal. Urban because we're always in the city, and renewal because it does exactly that. But guess the man, what's going to be so cool? What's going to be Coming up on TOMZ, now cities have the potential to become places of mega growth and happiness. We see how this is done through a process called urban renewal. Cities have been undergoing renewal for hundreds of years. Kaufman is about go back on your guy. Find some inspiration to dream about the future of your own city. We explore a new area and possible career as we show you where you can learn more. Jeng Basi as you're also wondering, could all the people on earth fit into one city? Yes, enjoy. Let's get in good. I give it to Nani along with the Shiloh Salus of Nani Bay Londra, I think, with Putia MZ and Amtaje, Sumile Zayak, Machelo, Chamber and Sabuzma. How can we help keep our cities safe? Oh, Kalas Yamba. Hmm, so Kalas Petos fees, so I got to be at the end of by creating more jobs because unemployment leads to crime. Always believe? Always believe, sir, sir. What can I get by having a band to Kaloko, a map of Lisa who patrol 24 7? Hmm, go for the phone and above. It's really easy on Facebook and on Twitter. Facebook.com forward slash TRMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SAPC underscore one. Queen's a crime. Tom's TV underscore SABC1. I want to open my schedule as the intro. Steve, Baba, what team? What's your name? Pumzile Mavimbela. Okay, Pumzile, what do you What does urban renewal mean? Men kabang um uwa kai zindu gabusha. Okay. Entla tangu funu kiana ne. Mani to urban renewal ni shuti. I think changing things that are in the rural areas, making them look like the urbans. Yeah. Urban renewal. I think uh, urban renewal is when we renovate like ama lands from old to new. Yeah. So if you would want to change your city, kasla kuji, will improve it somewhere. Maybe we change something. Bonga change a group. Like starting some ne. Like scontir, so that in motors go as like, must be the most cooler flow. Then, I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a roof, wezin like I'm a RTP. I buy an etcher, so I'd better go sing for you like I'm a new roofs. Yeah, I change I'm a lens, I'm a ning into eco-friendly lens. I think I will stop in starism and put more lights in the streets because it's dark in my city, mm -hmm. and change the shack spot RTP houses. Mm -hmm. And I think we're not fully equipped with sports, then I think I'll put sport grounds, everything yep. that we need. Yo, I says one and Bella in Pendulo Zen Bafetu. Thank you so much for participating. Oh, man, you has to begin live video. Gonna so fun that a band. A man to commit Nani Basuka from being hunter gatherers to developing techniques to grow food. Now, when new technologies in irrigation and storing food came about, they even learned how to store surplus food over long periods of time. Now, you can get have Mela other types of commerce to come about, why I want to live in one place without having to move around looking for new land. Now, as these trades grew, so more techniques of transportation came about, giving rise to more labor needed and thus more people being drawn to work in cities. In the Industrial Revolution, production on a mass scale was made possible and gave rise to new infrastructure as well as huge population growth in cities. In the 19th century, urban renewal was done to improve conditions in London, where it was super cramped and dirty. In the 1940s, after World War II, the concept exploded as local governments tried to rebuild cities after the damage from war. Up in South Africa, there are many urban renewal projects happening, including one in Alexandria with more than 1 billion rand. Why go 2009, the renewal process of Maboneng, an industrial area dating back to the 19th century, yet has Joburg is a great city with some of the best buildings, like the Carlton Center, which is actually the tallest building in Africa. Mm, and about the tallest building, Mazo in Kota Monyaga 2018, is Saudi Arabia, and you're going to get by the Jeddah Tower. In Jaloga, I'm going to get to the Jeddah Tower. When you talk about the Jeddah Tower, you're going to get to the Jeddah Tower. 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 Welcome to the 
Right? And we were just saying that it's such a great process. Yeah. See, Joyam's It's your boy CID, I pronounce Katie, yet on another mission running the streets of Johannesburg. Touch down in Maboning. So, but first, I'm trying to an urban renewal. We're taking back the inner city. So, I'm trying to develop about this initiative. Now, but first, the city is busy. Do you and me in this mission? Let's get it. Hey, she's how are you? Good in you, Katie. I'm great. Welcome to TOMZ. Thank you for having me. Most definitely. So, today we're talking about urban renewal. Can you please tell us about yourself and tell us exactly what you do? All right, so I'm the key projects manager for Perpetuity. We're yep. the developers of the Maboning Precinct, so the yes. neighborhood that you're in. Okay. And we are now in the new phase or the new area of Maboning, okay. um, which is in an area that was previously known as New Dunfantine. Okay. Everyone knows Maboning from that side. So Fox Street, Arts on Main, the Sunday Market, mm -hmm. Main Street Life, Maverick Corner. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that we're actually extending north. Okay. Um, and so I'm just going to show you a few of the new things that we've done on this side that not many people would know about. Okay, cool. Um, so tell me, what do you guys do exactly? We buy industrial buildings that yes. are semi-abandoned and vacant okay. and we convert them into mixed-use uh, residential, retail, commercial, industrial, office um, mix. Okay, why? Well, there's a wealth of buildings in the Joburg CBD. Uh -huh. um, I think that there's enough infrastructure in the city to make use of. A lot of people leave the city, but cities have enough resources and infrastructure to, to utilize. And uh, there are a lot of buildings that are sitting empty and, and, and underused. Okay. Yeah. In Mabonenka, I got the e business center, but in the early 90s, there was mass movement away from the area, leaving many buildings abandoned and in disrepair. The buildings in the area are being renewed as mixed-use buildings. They have many different uses in one structure, like residential, commercial, and industrial practices. For 2013, 35 buildings had already been renewed. This provides a lot of opportunity for investments to be made in the city, which in turn contributes to South Africa's economy. In Nilagalokuna, a chance to live in a place where they are connected to the people around them and can work and play in one area. So tell me about the developments that you guys are busy with right now and the importance of them. Um, so again, our, our product is mainly mixed use, but we also have a lot of privately funded public space interventions for the community. Yes. So they're all spaces that we've funded, okay. um, but they're for community benefit and they're free. These are our offices. Okay. And um, the building was the original 7-Up bottling plant. Uh -huh. And our offices are within this Facebook building and then behind there are close to about 100 different offices. Okay, well. Wow. So tell me, how do you guys impact the inner city community? Um, I think that development companies like ourselves are bringing money back into the city. Mm -hmm. uh, we're providing a platform for small, medium to high-end blue chip enterprises to bring their business back into the city. Yeah. Um, we also have a sliding scale, so we've got affordable housing, affordable offices, affordable retail, like, and then it slides. Mm -hmm. So we're creating a densely populated mixed income environment. Yes. You're not going to see that in a gated community in Santon or in Midrand, mm -hmm. where it's one income bracket. Mm -hmm. um, we're also giving back to the community, so currently we've got four uh, private, privately funded public space interventions that benefit the community. The art centre, the skateboarding park, the outdoor gym and the park. Mm -hmm. So those are all spaces in a privately funded um, environment that are accessible to children from anywhere in the Joburg CBD. Okay. My paper is in so, my name is Kari, I'm from Tom's. Okay, I'm Bigam from Lalela. This place caught my attention, is Kipanila. This is an after school arts program. Yes. Um, we work with kids who um, we take them from schools, um, the, the younger ages. Uh -huh. The program is basically about um, uh, not necessarily teaching them just art, but we enhance their creative part okay. that also assists the academic part as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so how's the environment? 
Uh, Maboneng is, is VIP, Maboneng is Atsi, Maboneng is, is the new hub of the, of the city. Mm -hmm. So being here as well, we, we, we must understand that the, there's a community around Maboneng mm -hmm. that is supposed to engage with the, uh, what's going on itself. Mm -hmm. So I think Propituity are doing their level best to yes. make sure that everyone around is engaged, everyone is working. Hence we have this year because we engage the community. We engage the kids from the community. We do work with the kids literally. They they come here, they spend almost the whole of the afternoon towards the evening doing their homeworks after our program is finished. So yeah, the space itself is brilliant, man. We're providing a platform for small entrepreneurs to to have a small little baby shop and that rental is like 2,000 Rand. Mm. Um, you've got smaller spaces that start from about 1,000 Rand right up to big, big spaces. So you're providing a platform for micro entrepreneurs to grow their businesses. Um, and, and you're doing everything in the public space in between. So you, you're keeping the streets safe. The security is on site 24 hours. You're paying for the pavements. You're paying for the landscaping. So you're really upgrading the built environment which is um, a job that in normal situations, in normal circumstances, the city would be doing, yeah. but we're doing it. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's good. that gives you a good overview of, of how, how what we're doing is benefiting everyone. Yes. Now, Bethany, when it comes to the city, we speak a lot about density, which actually means having a lot of people in the same place at the same time. Unsa kuhu manga loko ena bongi ne? Ugawa ibuza na wala pika ibuza skati kati gunganja nuta tabonge abantu imtaben uba bega in just one city. I want kasta lega loko ni nganza ko kuma kasi yetu mumele loa no sama kasi ku Facebook ku Twitter kasta si sema na wangu do zende ngswe ni pata hasi don zubu ya bosi na tisi ya buya ngo. Kangelawe <laughs> How did the idea of reclaiming the inner city come from? Um, Propertyity, which is the development company in charge of the area that you're visiting, the Mabone Precinct, was uh, founded by our, our CEO and founder, uh, Jonathan Liefman. He didn't like the suburbs. He didn't like the fact that, you know, in the suburbs, you, you don't have this mixed environment. Mm. So you saw the, um, the merit of kind of buying different buildings in an area and, and turning them into mixed use. Any big um, city in the world has mixed use. So you're in your apartment, you walk downstairs, you can grab a coffee, you can walk down the road, you can go to gym, you walk one block up, you go to your office. There's a gym here. Mm. How cool is this? So these are like the instructions that you can do on these gym things. Okay, where do we start? Mm. Pull-ups, this is the one I'm gonna do. With, with the highs and the lows, this is a community. So all the retailers know each other. People who live here know all the retailers. We, you know, often someone will say, okay, I'm a chartered accountant and I live in Maboneng, but actually I've been wanting to open a coffee shop. So they'll open a, co a coffee shop or a burger joint. Or we live and we work here. So my apartment is around the corner. My son will go to that school that you mm -hmm. saw. Um, so it's creating an environment for people to not have to get into their cars and sit in traffic for an hour, for example, or be in a, in a gated community where you don't know your neighbor. Hi, monkey bars, I ain't calling about this. Okay, I did the pull-ups, toes to the pull- Yo! Oh, no. Okay, so tell me about being a developer as a career. How does that work? Um, I think that you've got to have a passion for spaces and for design and, you know, um, you should want to be able to leave a lasting impact. You are turning spaces from one thing to another, so you're seeing a space evolve. Um, so you're taking a space that was previously not so great and then you're adding your, your, your bit of a golden touch. Um, 
and it's it's a it's a tough industry but it's an exceptionally rewarding industry because you get to be part of this process of taking something and, and growing it into something else. Yes. So tell us, you know, now you see a space, what 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 happens exactly? Um so you know a lot of people like derelict abandoned warehouses, they like the look and feel, it's mm. the industrial mm -hmm. um, aesthetic I guess. So what we've done with all of our buildings is we've tried to maintain the integrity of a space. So we've kept, you can see we've kept the structures, mm -hmm. we've kept the existing structures and we've just added a little bit more. So landscaping, art, so the sculptures that you see around, um, you know, greenery, mm. uh, lighting details and um, it's basically just to to upgrade aesthetically a space that was probably previously not that uh, visually attractive. And how are people receiving this? I think people receive it pretty well. Uh, South Africans uh, have a good eye for design. We're, we're a country filled with beautiful things mm -hmm. and uh, we are a country filled with people who appreciate beautiful things. Um, so anyone who's traveled to a big city in, in or, or um, you know, who appreciates city living will appreciate the fact that we haven't come and just bulldozed this entire warehouse and just built a new glass, steel, Santon-esque kind of structure. We've kept the original building. Yes. We've given it a good lick of paint. We've manicured it and we've added art. We've added the small little uh, fine fine tuning details that turn a space from, from like cool, okay, to like wow. Awesome. What's going on, my friends in Isbonele? We came, we saw, we conquered. I had fun reclaiming my city. Slangin about Kwa Pesha was jelling urban renewal, who are passionate about their city and arts. But in Slungu, mission accomplished. It's your boy CAD to pronounce Kelly. Mats. So urban renewal is not just about the building. As the projects want to bring about larger change and improvement, it's also about the infrastructure around it and mobility. Now Yonge Gele process relaunches the area and creates new jobs skills, entrepreneurship, and opportunities. Ibandakanya Gayabandu with many different skills like engineers, urban designers, architects, and economists. Now, my vision has a good tier in Ziata and Puma in Barashel E. Colinzin. When I lapica for Ibona, then I tag a lapana on our social media platforms. No, I was having a good season, Colin Saco, then I was sending an email with Tom's at sabc.co.ca. One more time, let's see what went down. Niklan, Nifras, Nimnad. Now it's time to games, guys. Yeah, so it's time. Now it's time. So. Okay, guys. Well, Kony Gaming in Peterion, and I'm trying to say, because I'm in Megapolis. So, go to the game, Lena, you create your own city. So, Waki Kasla, you can put anything from railways, Guma Airport, skate parks, if you want to go stadium, we are Spaga, and after a while, we are going to go to Kasla called Kula Ganjan. How dope is that? Oh. So, Kony App never fits, it's using urban mind, you know? So what happens with the app planner, it asks you questions about certain things that happen in the environment, like an experiment, or an experience in certain environments. And then after all of that data is sent to all the superior people and they collect it and they plan on how to improve your cities. How dope is that? Crazy, crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Yeah. Now for some reason, when it comes to Amatolo, I want to have some of the coolest and insane ideas for the future. And I think we should also start having crazy ideas about the future of our cities. about what the future holds. One urban designer has a vision for houses that are not built, but grow out of plants and meat. Of course, Gay Nasa has been considering a city and space for years and has even designed one, which is built around one giant spinning wheel. Now, Gaeli Vili provides gravity similar to that of the earth, and people in the city will travel through trees. Amanya think producing Kujakwaho is the way to go and want to make urban farms a widespread popular thing. And another invention is Ukseben's alive algae that grows on buildings to provide energy and shading. Now, my friends, that gives you an idea of how cities might change in the future as the population in Kula and Stabange more outside the box. What if we could fit everyone in the same space at the same time? Kelly, come on,
Well, there are about 7.3 billion people, Kona Sabin. So, if you put 7.3 billion grains of rice in one building, it would need to be the size of a two-story house. If all the people on Earth stood in one straight line, the line would go around the Earth 56 times. On average, Umut Erwan takes about 33 times 33 times 165 centimeters of space. Logo Shuguti, about 71,000 of people can fit onto a soccer field, while the other 10 million could go into one square kilometer. Yo! Wow, so all the humans could technically fit in one square patch of land, which is 27 times 27 kilometers wide. It would, however, take about 22 hours to walk around it. New York is about 786 square kilometers big, so you should be able to fit one Umudu up in there. Mara Lokushuguti, you won't be able to move. I have a fancy TOMZ in Patelinda Bezim Nani Conola Pimakai. So, when I pick up from the IJ episode, when we want to call out TOMZ, all you have to do is send us the idea of a filter, and if it's fresh and brilliant, we'll make it a TOMZ official episode. Conola SAVC1. And not only that, you get a goodie bag, but I just keep us up with TOMZ1. So, when I pick up, all you have to do is send through your ideas on Facebook, which is on facebook.com forward slash TOMZ. On Twitter, we are simply at Tom's underscore SAVC1. Let's go one. Hi, Buffett. We did say at the beginning of the show, Usi Slona actually has a big announcement. Yes, guys. It's actually my last show after TOMZ. I'd like to take this time to thank the whole of SABC, the whole of E Crew, as well as my co presenters, Ukadi and Sia. Guys, it's been great. But most of all, I'd like to thank each and every single person. Every Monday and Tuesday in CBS in the SABC One. A huge reminder, though, that just because Gwambi Wongi are fairly TOMZ, we can continue watching TOMZ. The Mifra Nogolo is meaning. Can CBS in the SABC One? Thanks for sure. Mmm, I just add, Ne. It was really great working with you. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence you really brought the clunginess onto the show and my face you can catch ubong in jalonje who's over corner we entertain the industry look out for her she's super talented so make sure you're always on the lookout bye bye next time on tomz there's more than one platform where you can raise your voice Tangana with the power girl who uses her own so wanna exactly what social media is and how it's used to bring change do you know when the first real strike in zanti was Social media is changing how we interact, see how it has grown. So look about how you can learn more and get involved for real. And see why it's important for change to come with sacrifice. Zuma posa wala kwa nangu chio MZ, hodong, mifu lwa nangu wala zbini. Kwa zimbi ya zine hapa kwa SABC1, zanzi, for sure.